Hey vlog, so I was looking through my books recently and I was reminded of this guy and I wanted to tell you about him because he is a pretty awesome man. My Latin teacher in high school was a semi-retired um, doctor and he was not a doctor of medicine but a doctor of other smart things and uh, he also happened to be the school librarian. This was really awesome for me because of my intense love of owning books. So as he sorted through the books in the library, he often got rid of old ones that, um, you know, people didn't read anymore. And instead of donating them to other libraries or selling them or whatever, or throwing them out, he just gave them to me a lot of times and I was really, really excited <laughs> about that. I was looking through my books that I have here and the I found just a bunch of them that he has given me and I just it just goes to show you how nerdy I am. So these are old copies of the books that we used in Latin class, like our Latin textbooks. And then there's a Latin English dictionary which he gave to everyone in the class. And then there's this book. <laughs> um, it's very 60s. Oh yes. It's about like the philosophy of the senses and things like that because I did a project um, on the philosophy of smell memory once and uh, I got that one for free and then I also got this one. This is a really good book and if you've ever studied mythology you've probably heard of this book. And then there's this one. This was actually one of his university textbooks and it is from the 70s and you can tell because it's supposed to be uh, an anthology of English literature, but all of the authors happen to be men. Oh, how convenient. Basically what it is is like huge and Bible sized um, and it's just a bunch of all the great uh, English writers and um, just pieces of their work, sometimes full pieces, sometimes only parts of novels and stuff like that. And it's because of this book that I got into Byron right over here and also Shelley. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday, 9 p.m. There's a dog. Look at the dog. Hi, you're a dog. Your tail is wagging. Don't feed him Doritos. Oh, this is my dad. Hello, dad. Hey. This is my Corrado. Hey, Hello, Corrado. Hello. This is my Breaking Bad. It's a T. Ooh, ooh, that looks. Ooh, it's tripping. Okay, that's Breaking Bad. And we are about to watch the Breaking Bad show finale. After five seasons, it has come to an end. We're all very sad. Not yet. You're not sad yet? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how it goes. I think it's gonna be super intense. I can't, I don't really wanna talk about it, but. You guys know I was a huge, 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 huge fan of Lost. Until this episode ends, this is what I've been saying for about three years now. Thus far, Breaking Bad has been perfect. Every episode, every season has been perfect. Lost is my favorite show, but not every episode of Lost is perfect. Every episode of Breaking Bad is perfect. So if they don't screw up the finale, <laughs> which I don't think they will, Breaking Bad will become my favorite show of all time. Better than Lost. Wow. As long as they don't screw this up. Oh, you disagree. Yeah? You like Lost more? Absolutely. Lost was big for us because we watched it, we watched season two and three when I lived here, and then I moved out. And season five and six, I was living in Oakville, and I would drive here every Wednesday, and we would rewatch the previous week and watch that episode every week for all of season five and all of season six. And that was like a family, I would see you guys every week. Now I don't see you guys like ever. <laughs> but, I came, but I came to watch Breaking Bad. The reason I like it better, Breaking Bad is linear. Like it's, it's kind of like one, it's really about like, well, pretty much like the whole time. Like there's a few kind of like sub plots, stuff like that. I felt with Lost, it, you know, like at certain times you feel like you're kind of like following Kate or you're following Jack or you're following Sawyer. So depending on your mood or how you're feeling or what's going on in your life, <clears throat> you almost relate to the show a little bit differently. Whereas this is kind of very linear, like it's mm -hmm. just kind of like one storyline the whole time. Mm -hmm. Where it was with Lost, it kind of had all the flashbacks all the time. It was you, bigger. It was like it was more epic in a, in a sense, right? So it was a little more going on, mm -hmm. and, you know. So I, I felt like it was almost like a little bit more entertaining. Mm. But Breaking Bad obviously is pretty awesome in its own right for different for different reasons, I yeah. guess, for me. They're super different. But I get asked all the time, "What's your favorite show?" And it is it, it, it it's it's still Lost, but in an hour. Might not be half. lost any hour and a half. Might not be lost anymore. We'll see. So we're back. Breaking Bad is done. 
and it was great. We went to Corey's dad because his dad has the uh, AMC channel, which we don't have. And the, uh, the we don't have TV. We don't have TV. So the the episode of the finale was everything that like Breaking Bad should be. It wasn't like I don't know. It wasn't like pull your hair out kind of intensity, but it was like phenomenal. So it was, just, it was exactly what it needed to be without it being over the top. So Corey, mm -hmm. as you said before, is Breaking Bad your favorite show and how does it rate against Lost? Breaking Bad is the best show I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. What? Wait, you should say that one more time. Breaking Bad is the best show I have ever seen in my entire life. I did a slow dramatic zoom in. Good. Good. <laughs> Intense. It, uh, the ending was perfect. No it was spoilers. perfect. No spoilers. No. Spoiler free vlog. It's perfect. It's perfect show. Perfect show. It's perfect. I'm going to agree with Corey and say that it is probably the best show. Uh, actually, I'm going to agree with Corey and say that it is the best show because it is so good. I'm actually going to start watching it from scratch right now. <laughs> I figured I'm going to watch the first episode after watching the last episode to see like the full character transformations. And I'm going to drag Saskia along for the ride this time. Now is like the best time to start, right? Now is the best time to start. So you can just binge watch the whole thing. Yeah, look, it's right there. Like a drug right addict. There on Netflix. Like right a drug there. addict, you can watch the whole thing. Well, good. Shall we? So we just finished watching three episodes? Three episodes. We watched three episodes. Episode one, two, and three, respectively. No, no, we just watched the first episode of every season, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you're supposed to watch things. Um, and I guess they're good. A lot of things happen, so that's good. You mean you guess they're good? I guess they're... I can't judge a show from watching three episodes. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, well, uh, you watched one episode of Lost and you were like... <laughs> that, was, that was pretty much exactly your reaction about Lost, so... Yeah, but that was mostly confusion. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, I don't know if that... Applies. So Corey likes Lost. I like Lost. Corey really likes Breaking Bad, so I guess that means I'll like Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad's maybe? the best show that's ever made. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. I'll the first see. three episodes are great. I'll see. They are good. They're really I didn't good. Say they were bad. They're very good, and a lot of things happen. I don't know if it's the best show I've ever seen, but they're good oh, so it just gets better. <laughs> well, it's not good. about what happens. Uh -huh. It's it's not about things like it's 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 not like they go on an island and then the island does things and stuff. Yeah. It's not like that at all. No, well clearly it's, it's not characters. Show at all. Right. It's all about the characters. Okay. Yeah. And this and the and the choices they make, right. as Walt says in the end of the third episode. He goes, huh? People and the choices they make. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Well, um, regardless, please don't spoil things in the comments. Because I'm gonna watch the whole thing. <laughs> I know you're probably excited because you just watched the finale, but I haven't seen anything but three episodes, and I want to watch the whole thing now. So, uh, please don't, don't spoil anything for me, please. I'm gonna go to bed now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Daily vlogs, I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is